Okay, now let's take a look at tree diagram and probability. A typical tree diagram looks like this drawing that uh, you see in front of you. Suppose we have a box that contains three red and seven green balls. And we are to randomly draw two balls with replacement. So after you draw the first ball, you place it back in the box and then you draw the second ball. We want to complete the tree diagram and write the probability of each outcome by the branch. So on the first draw, there are two possibilities. We can have a red ball or we can have a green ball. So if you select the red ball, now remember this is with replacement, we're going to put it back. You may also select a green ball. Now probability that we select the red ball will be 3 over 10. And probability that we select the green ball will be 7 over 10. Now since this problem is with replacement, every time we draw a red ball will be 3 out of 10 and every time we draw a green ball will be 7 out of 10. Now on the second draw there are two possibilities. We may get a red ball, we may get a green ball. We may draw a red ball or we may draw a green ball. Now probability that each time we get a red would be 3 out of 10 and probability that we get a green ball would be 7 out of 10. Same thing over here. Since we're doing it with re replacement, probability that we get a red ball would be 3 out of 10, and probability that we get a green ball would be 7 out of 10. Now let's use the tree diagram from last example we just did to find the probability of all possible outcomes and then verify that the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. This is how our tree diagram looked like. If I want to find probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is red, we need to follow this path. red followed by another red. So the answer will be the product of the probabilities and the probabilities are written by the branches. So it will be 3 over 10 times 3 over 10 which will be 9 over 100. Now if I want to find probability that the first ball is green but the second ball is red, we have to follow this path. The first ball is green and the second ball is red. So for that we're going to multiply 7 over 10 times 3 over 10, which will be equal to 21 over 100. Now I'm going to leave it up to you in order to verify this, but the probability that we get a red first and green second will be equal to 21 over 100 again. And probability that the first draw is green and the second draw is green, this one would be 49 over 100. If we add these probabilities together, these four probabilities, we should get a total of 100 over 100, which is equal to 1, which verifies 
that the sum of all probabilities is 1. Now let's look at this example. There are eight candidates in the city election, three females and five males. We are to vote for two candidates, and we want to use a tree diagram to find the probability of each outcome for this problem. So to select, we can select a female first, or we can select a male first. So let's say our first election, the selection is female. Well, what's the probability that we select a female? Well, that one would be three out of eight candidates. Now, on the other hand, if we select a male, probability of selecting a male will be five out of eight. Now, you cannot repeat the same candidate, so this is like without replacement. Now, if we select for the second elected candidate, if we select a female, the probability that the second one is female will be 2 out of 7. Because by this time, one of the eight candidates is already chosen, and one of the three females is already chosen. So there are two females out of seven total candidates. Now, if the second candidate we select happens to be a male, in this scenario, we still have five males out of a total of seven candidates. If our first candidate was a male, now we're going to draw or we're going to select the second candidate. Let's say that candidate is female. Well, by this time, none of the female candidate are selected, so that means we still have three out of seven. But if the second candidate happens to be a male, then probability of the second one being male will be four out of seven, because one of the male candidate is already selected. Now let's use the tree diagram below to find the probability of all possible outcomes. If we find, if we're interested to find probability of selecting two females, well, how do we get to two females? The first one has to be female and the second one has to be female. So all we need to do, multiply the product of the probabilities by the branches, which is 3 over 8 times 2 over 7, which is 6 over 56. Of course, we can reduce this. Now, if we want to find probability of selecting a female, followed by male, this one would be 3 over 8 times 5 over 7, which is 15 over 56. If we want to find probability that the first one is male, but the second one is female, in that case, we'll be following the path along the branches, 5 eighths times 3 over 7, which is 15 over 56. And the next one will be probability of selecting two males. Again, we're going to follow the path, and that would be 5 over 8 times 4 over 7, which is going to be 20 over 56. Now most of these answers, we can go ahead and reduce. 
Once again, if we add all the probabilities together, we should get 56 over 56, which is 1. Now, let me remind everyone that these are not the only ways to do these problems, but tree diagram will make it easier to visually understand what all the outcomes are and how we can find the probability of each outcome. I hope this uh, short presentation helped you understand the product rule with replacement and without replacement, independent and conditional probabilities.